Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. As you can hear behind me, there is a freeway. I am, of course, on duty here. I have my jacket on backwards so you can't see my uniform. Let's see. My last day off was on the 8th. It is now the 1st. So... You know, you just, uh, you do the math there. Is it like 19 days? That I have not had a day off. No. Okay, from the uh, 10th to the 30th, obviously. Well, from the 11th to the 30th is 20 days. So, 23 days. 23 days I haven't had a day off. A um, little over, over three weeks now, and... I had a really bad experience. Well, not for me. I had a negative experience. I wouldn't call it a really bad one, but I was dumb enough to take an extra shift because we're hurting for people right now. It's in the middle of the COVID-19 quarantine, and, you know, people are calling out. People are sick. And, you know, one of the emergency shelters needed a man, so I showed up. I accepted that shift. And within a half hour of me arriving on post, I had PD on post dealing with uh, some problems there. And then I had an ambulance taking away a guy who couldn't breathe. Ugh. Ugh. Excuse me. Mm. Yeah, I'm tired. I work every day of the week. I go home, and of course, you know, I live with my special needs brother who doesn't, uh, there's a cat outside, who doesn't, doesn't really like cleaning, and, oh, it's a cute kitty too, and, you know, doesn't think that he should have to clean up after himself, and. You know, the cat pans are getting nasty and the cats are pissing in places they're not supposed to. I had a cat crap on my piano yesterday. Maybe today, I don't know how close I am to midnight. And yeah. You know, not having a good day. But to make matters worse, you know, I came into work yesterday... I hadn't gotten a lot of sleep. I was really tired. And I cleaned out my car, so I didn't have my customary energy drinks. Didn't have my shooters. Didn't have my resources for combating exhaustion. I did have coffee. And I made some of the strongest coffee. <clears throat> made some of the strongest coffee you'd ever believe. To try and hold my own and stay up last night. But one of the things that happened, um, one of the things that happened is that somewhere about an hour before the end of my shift, I realized that I had not been given a lunch. Now, I'm notorious for not taking lunches or working through them. I am always, uh, always writing reports or I'm always doing something so that I'm often taken away from this. But this, on this occasion, with five officers on post and my supervisor right there, I was not given the opportunity to take a lunch. And I mentioned that. I said, you know, look, this is not a good time for that. There's a greater level of accountability. And I mean, you know, whether I take the lunch or not, you got to offer it to me. Oh. 
so of course naturally at this time I feel terrible I go home and uh, do some cleaning as I always do and then I went to sleep and woke up with a uh, Oh, not a hangover, but oh, everything feels so kind of fuzzy right now. Fever. I woke up with a slight fever. And as you can tell, I'm not, I'm just, I'm not doing too well. Because, you know, I'm getting worked ragged, you know, and it's... There's no way I can get enough sleep and do enough work every day to maintain things. I mean, it's just... All I seem to be able to do is, is get the dishes done every day. And there's so much more I want to do, but... You know, it's like the garage is just destroyed. Um... You know, I've got two blogs, or two vlogs over premiering new content every day. I've got two channels that are updating, if not every day, at least once a week. And it's just it's too much for me, I guess. I don't know. Oh. Good news is my supervisor's been by already, so if I do fall asleep, he's unlikely to catch me. The bad news is I don't care whether his fire is mature or not. I have to have to do my job. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on this video. Turn off both video. And I'm going to walk around in the cold air and, and hope that does it. The interesting thing is that when I'm really tired, my eyes get hot. And that's what they're doing now. So, two questions. One. What are your tiredness symptoms? Do your eyes get hot like mine? And two, what do you do when you're as tired as I am? No matter how tired I get, I'm still on duty. I still have a job to do. I'm Richard.